Welcome to my channel. I hope you guys are having a lovely day. For today's video, I will be trying out two different workouts that aim to burn 1000 calories. Yeah. So, so I'm going to be doing these two workouts on two separate days because I don't think I can do two workouts in one day. So the first workout that I will be trying out is this one by the channel No Bad Addiction. It's a 50 minutes intense hit workout that aims to burn 1000 calories and that is so difficult because last time at the gym not last last time but like before i did a challenge where i tried to burn 500 calories in one hour and it was so difficult and i just about made it so it was very difficult so this is double that amount let's see how this goes so let's just find out let me do the workout and i'll give you guys some stats at the end of the workout and yeah we'll see what kind of like variations and exercise it involves is the jumping is the like laying down exercises and how hard is it there is a warning at the beginning of the workout that is very difficult workout so yeah let's get started let's do this just realized i should just you know like warm up a bit before i begin a, like a hit workout Hey guys, so the workout starts off with a bang, like it's not kidding at all. Honestly, I was getting really tired from sitting down and then getting up constantly. It was very hectic for me, but I guess that's what makes it a hit workout. This whole workout was split into five rounds with various different exercises. It did have breaks, but it was still very fast paced for me. I ended up taking a lot of pauses so between each exercises because I was getting so tired. However, I did attempt all the different exercises. I just finished the workout and that was so difficult. It was so hard. My knees just could not take it after like the first 20 minutes. My knees just kind of gave up and they just got really tired. They just like, no, nope, this is not your cup of tea. There was a lot going on and it was very fast paced. There was a lot of like variations. There was always like one standing up exercise and then one laying down or like sitting down exercise. And it was just so difficult to kind of match the same kind of intensity. It was so difficult for me to actually do one exercise standing up and then like in the next 10 seconds, you have to lay down and do the next exercise laying down or like sitting down. I took a lot of breaks, honestly because I just couldn't keep going. So overall with this workout, I burnt 271 active calories, 353 total calories. So not 1000 calories. So I wouldn't recommend this if you're just starting out or if you're a beginner, uh, because it's very intense, it's very difficult. And I don't want you guys to have like, I don't know, knee pain or whatever. I mean, obviously you can try this and do it at your own pace. I'll come back tomorrow and we're gonna test out another workout. Hopefully it won't be this intense. And obviously the aim is still to burn 1000 calories or somewhere near 1000 calories so yeah and obviously like this tracker it's not 100% accurate like it does what it can it's just an estimate and obviously we can't always rely on this 100% but it gives you an idea right i'll see you guys tomorrow bye hi guys today's day three and i'm just about to test the second 1000 calorie burning workout so this was by the channel robertus gym and it's this 1000 calorie workout cardio that aims to burn 1000 calorie this one is one hour and three minutes long a bit more than the last one i did which was i think 50 minutes but i think this one might not be that intense as the other one so yeah let's get started and let's find out how many calories i can burn with this workout that aims to burn 1000 calories yesterday i was just way too tired so yeah i did that first 1000 calorie burning workout on day one and i was going to do this on day two but i was just way too tired so yeah i'm doing it today on day three so yeah let's get started That was just the warm up. 
The layout of the exercises in this workout was very nice. It wasn't that hectic, but the duration of the whole workout was one hour long, which is a long time. So yeah, everything has its pros and cons. Both of the workouts had some exercises which involved jumping, which is not that ideal for a home workout. But I tried my best and got two of these workouts done in one week, so well done to myself. So you guys, we're 15 minutes into the workout and I just wanted to like pop in and kind of do a, like a quick comparison between this workout and the one I did like two days ago. So I'm currently 50 minutes into the workout and I've burnt 258 active calories and 340 total calories. So in comparison to the other one that we did like two days ago, in 50 minutes I burned 271 calories. So what I burnt today is pretty close to 271. Hydrated. So I'm done with this workout and it was a very long workout but let's go through the stats. So one hour and almost three minutes and I burned 327 active calories and 429 total calories. So that is interesting. Obviously it's not 1000 calories. 327 active calories it's pretty good. This one I would say was more doable. The other one I kind of regretted it once I started it and I thought okay now I can't stop. I have to finish it because I took up the challenge. That one was like a hit workout. This one I think it said it was hit workout but it didn't kind of seem like it. A lot of the exercises were like very beginner friendly. Yeah if you're someone like me then I would highly recommend this workout by the channel Robertus Gym instead of the other workout by the channel no bad addiction. I kind of tested how many calories I could burn with a 1000 calorie burning workout that was for 50 minutes long and we tested out um, a one hour long workout that aimed to burn 1000 calories so now we have both the stats. I'll actually put up like a comparison between the two at the end of the video so yeah if you just want like a summary then you can like skip skip but try not to skip just watch the whole video and yeah I hope you guys found this helpful but yeah my preferred workout to do it again would be um, the Robertus gym one because there was like a good variation between um, standing up and laying down or sitting down workouts it wasn't it wasn't that constant like you would do a few laying down workouts and you would do a few standing up it wasn't like regular where you know you stand up you do one exercise you lay down you do another keep doing that it wasn't like that so i think that was pretty good with the robertus gym workout i hope you guys found this video helpful if you did please give this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my channel so i can make more videos and yeah i'll see you guys in my next video bye